Oh man, is that time again? I gotta start an episode? Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh man, what's that stain on my shirt? Is that a troll? Or a lol? I don't know. Okay, we should probably start. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Nether Survival Series. This is episode number 17, I think. We're getting pretty far into it, guys. And I just want to say thank you for all of the comments lately. Uh, you guys have been doing amazing. But today, I have some things planned. First of all, I want to show you what I got from a mining session that I just uh, did a couple minutes ago. We have 20 diamonds now, which is doing pretty good. We have many stacks of redstone. We need to figure out something to do with this. Some more iron, gold, you know, all the usual stuff. But first things first, I want to make a bit of a smelter for our pork chops. Because right now, we're literally just using the furnaces below our stairs. So, let's get into a montage and build ourselves a smoker. Well, I hope you enjoyed that montage. We just built ourselves a little bit of a smoker, but now I want to add some tunes to it. You know, make it make it a little bit more interesting, you know, so to speak. So if we come over here, uh, I originally was going to install it up over there, but there just wasn't enough space and it wasn't working out. So I moved it down here. And what do you think? I think it turned out pretty good. Um, we have some extra storage right here. Pretty standard input, output. This will be a smoker in the end. This was just for testing. And if we head back here, we can take a look at the redstone. So basically, I wanted these lights to be on whenever the, the machine was running. However, we can't just take an output out of these two smokers because then it'll go like a, it'll detect the fuel as well. So I had to do something a little bit different. Wow, those guys are unbelievably annoying. Sorry, I, I'll turn the sound down, but not quite yet. What we have here is we just have some comparators detecting the hoppers. So whenever an item gets smelted, it'll go into this hopper. The comparator will say, hey, that went off. It'll go up this torch tower and power this extended um, comparator clock, which will turn on the lights. And right before this comparator clock runs out of its timer, the next item will go through and refresh the timer and making it all good again. And then what I want to do here is just add a couple note blocks. Nothing too fancy, just like a da ding or a da ding something like that. Now if we give this button press, we can see how it sounds. Just like... Wait for it... Oh shoot, I started the timer. Whoops, okay. <laughs> Wait a few seconds. Yeah, okay, you heard them all go off. Now we just need to tune it. I think we'll probably go up a little bit. And if you didn't know, you can use the F5 to look at the note. So I think we're going to have an end. 24, sure. Sounds good. And it's 16. Nice. How does this sound? Let's just try the torch method. And. Yeah, okay. Actually, wow. I'm. Okay, I know it's three notes, okay? But I'm thoroughly impressed with how that sounded. Here, wait. I want to hear it again. Oh my goodness. I don't know why, but I love that. <laughs> okay, nice. I think that's it for the redstone now. Change our smoker out. Okay. For you. And then if we had pork chops and we had fuel, in this case we have one stick of peas. <laughs> okay, we don't have that much fuel. We need a little bit more. Let's try. There we go. Yeah, 11 pieces each. And if we put. put bleh, if we put raw pork chop in should fire up the machine then once these go into the chest 
we should be able to hear that tune go on, and the lights should stay on. Oh, there we go, yeah! And that just signifies that it's done smelting. I think that's really nice. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice. I really like it. There's just a chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll eat it. But I needed one more thing. So I just added another comparator right here, and this is just going to activate the, the redstone... Not the redstone torches, the redstone lamps. As soon as an item passes through this, that way you don't have to wait for the timer. Uh, or like for the item to smelt before this turns on. So that should work a little bit better. Just to, you know, the little things in life. Oh, and hello dude. How you doing? Also guys, look how cluttered my inventory got. Kind of ridiculous. I need to figure that out somehow. It's nice that we have a storage system. And this keeps happening. I really need to fix that. These stupid big lens <laughs> keep getting stuck on these pressure plates and oh, so annoying. If there is any way, any way to just like get rid of them, please let me know because I don't know if I can light up the place enough to keep them from spawning. They, oh, they're just so unbelievably annoying. Also, my chests are filling up. I need to expand my storage or something. But how do we expand our storage? Well, we need wood. And honestly, we need wood to do about everything. And this is how I've been collecting wood so far. It looks kind of ridiculous. But basically, I would just come down here, place a warp fungus, and then get some bone mill, bone mill it, and then just chop it down. And this is not the best way to do it. Um, it is a way, uh, but I would like to be able to get those shroom lights and also have it automatic to some extent so what i want to do real quick is we're going to ignore all the other projects we have <laughs> i know kind of a re reoccurring thing but i want to make a dispenser so that's a dropper and yeah so in the new so, well i can't remember what update it was but you can now use bows that have been used for dispensers and this one literally has one durability left i just find that hilarious so, the basic idea is we're going to have a dispenser right here, right, with a whole bunch of bone mill, and we're just going to have a super fast clock. Now, let's see if we can set up one of those real quick on the fly. We'll see how, how good my, my redstone skills are. Now, I believe we just need a couple things like this, and maybe that. Let's see if it works. <laughs> and, oh, obviously in subtract mode. Yeah, okay. That is the basic idea, but for some reason, I don't know why, you can only take an output out of one... Yeah, you can only take an output from here. Actually, I think I might know why. I think um, these two are have too strong of a pulse, and this one is just weak enough. I don't know why. Don't ask me that. <laughs> um, but, like, as you, if you see right here, it just it's permanently on. This one is flickering. Kind of strange, right? Very, very weird. But all we need to do is go like that, add that, and we should be good to go. A little bit of redstone later, and I think this should all be working. The reason this is a warp block is because this will detect, or like, it, it knows if this isn't a warp block. It'll be like, hey, that's a regular block. I can't grow next to you. But since it is a warp block, we should be fine. And just added another repeater, pretty simple stuff. And we give it a go. Yeah, okay, it grows nice and it's going to need to be in subtract mode and yes also don't worry we are not wasting any bone mill when it's firing like this i used to think that we waste that like people wasted bone mill all the time by doing this but it's just triggering it's not actually using any of the bone mill so if we got ourselves a hoe we can kind of just blitz through all this stuff i'll probably add some sort of walkway to get to these a little bit easier and I would like to be able to insta-mine this because the, hoe, the iron hoe is pretty slow. I wish we had our netherite hoe, but uh, as you guys know, we lost that several episodes back. And then, yeah, this is this is pretty good. It seems more like legit, more like official now that we have a little bit of redstone hooked up to it. So I think that's looking pretty nice. But it looks even nicer when you add a staircase and some some nice looking ground and a thought just occurred to me do you think we can grow a crimson fungus with all of this warped fungus around it so i got a couple more pieces of bone now see what happens no oh it's not even using up the bone mill. that's super weird hold on maybe we need the crimson nilium 
Okay, let's just give this a try. So, crimson root and oh, it did grow. Okay, did it over? No, so it doesn't override the the warped fungus, but it does grow. And that might actually that might be really smart, actually, because then this won't be growing all over the place. So we can kind of control where our our warped grows. And that means we can just make it grow straight up. And wow, look at... Holy cow, this is going really high. I don't have any more blocks. Soul sand. Nilium. Oh, Nilium. <laughs> oh my gosh, it goes all the way up there. That's really tall. And I have another thing I want to show you guys. So, I can make it rain in the nether. I know. I'm kind of magic. Kind of magic that way. But look at this clip. So, this was me just logging in. And there's rain. Like, uh, it's been in the game for a while, this glitch. I think ever since they started doing the 1.16 snapshots, but maybe before then, because, uh, you know, the Kingmaker server that I was a part of, right? Well, every I, I would have that sort of rain glitch too, and it was super weird. I would get so confused. I was like, why is it raining? Like, this does not make any sense whatsoever. And one more thing to note before we jump to the next clip. I did find an infinity bow, which is pretty cool. That means we won't run out of arrows, so we don't have to use our glowstone to make the spectral arrows, which is pretty nice, I'd say. But now, I think the next thing on our agenda is going to be making another soul highway. It's been, I don't know, probably like seven episodes or something since we made this one. And it needs another one. It needs a little... A little companion so I think I want to make it out to the blaze farm we, we also need to work on the blaze farm too that's like a half finished project there's so many things I need to do and like finish up the hog on farm but oh so many things so it's time to build another one of these but I'm not sure which design I want to go for because we use this all the time I think it might get a little boring so I have a couple ideas I've tried out several things I think I like the blackstone in place of the the wood. I don't like this. This is too bulky. Um, this is our original, just to compare. And then this one is the one I'm interested in. So it's actually nether brick. I'm not sure how much I like it. So let's just check that on top. I think that could be pretty cool, blending in with the, the redwood. That might be an idea. Or in fact, we could just use the redwood instead. And then another idea I had was to put railings. So if we go like this on the sides, and then we can chuck some ladders, uh, not some ladders on top, chuck some fences. It looks kind of like this. It makes it a lot safer, and I'm really tempted to do that right here. So let me know what you guys think. Um, oh, and in fact, I wanted to do another brick. So let's just see how this looks real quick. How are we looking? Yeah, it's, it's not terrible. Maybe if we change this out? How's that? I think that's pretty cool, although this doesn't match it all that well. How do we think it would look if we just completely got rid of it? How's this looking? I mean, it's not terrible. I think that could be pretty cool, actually. A uh, nether brick is a little tough to gather. So, I'm gonna have a think on this, but let me know what you guys think, because we will be building these uh, to the various different areas. I think I want to make one in that direction as well. Um, we'll get one this way, we have that one that way. So let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, hopefully we can get a good idea. Good idea, I mean good design. Alright, I've decided, and it's nether bricks. Yep, that's what we're going for. So I just need to find the spot where we actually need to branch off. And where do you think that spot is? Do you think it's right here? Do you think it's right here? What about here by the lava? Well, it's actually right here, 85. This is exactly where we need to line ourselves up. So, I think I'm just going to start branching off like this. I don't know, like, the best way to make one of these intersections. Uh, if you guys have any ideas, as always, let me know. I love reading your comments. You know, this is actually super quick. I love the soul speed. This is definitely the way to build bridges. But uh, as we're building right here, I want to talk to you guys. So, I know I have a ton of things to do on this world, like, that I want to do. Uh, we have an entire book full, and I need your guys' input on what, like, your your uh, highest priority is. What projects do you want to see 
most because I have so many that I want to do and I think they're all all could be fun and look at that we're almost a chicken uh, so let me know what your favorite one is if I am smart I will put a picture of the book of ideas right now and that was scary <laughs> I don't know what's going on like every not every single time but like a lot of the time in the nether when you're building stuff you just get sucked under a block like that I I just get so confused. So while we're uh, just mining away through this mountain, I wanted to talk to you guys about the design I'm doing for this blaze farm. Uh, hopefully I can explain it well, but basically it's going to be like a funnel. So there's going to be a ring of pistons, and uh, if they step on a pressure plate that's on that ring, the piston will push them in one block, they'll fall down into the next ring, and dang it, just ran out of that. Okay, hopefully we won't be there too much longer. But, yeah, they, they fall in, it's like a tiered system, so if this was the first ring right here, there would be pressure plates like this. They stand here, get pushed over, pushed down onto the next ring, and so on and so forth, until they're in one spot. And from there, we should just be able to slap them to death. That is the goal, but I'm not sure if it worked. And, ooh, gold. I should really uh, try using gold more, because I'm running low on stuff like... My good boots broke the other day, and actually today, so that's a little sad. But uh, we're still we're still doing stuff, you know. We're starting to get better resources, and then, there's two baby chickens down there. What? <laughs> what? Okay, not baby chickens, baby zog, baby zoglins, baby zombie pigmen with rot chickens. But it's so hard to say. I mean, I wish they would give me eggs, but apparently not. I also know that we need to go up to level 71, so I think that's, what, right here, yeah, okay. And then it just should be a straight shot. Oh my goodness, we're already here! Look at that! And look, there's a wither skeleton, let's see if we can take him out with our, our new gold sword, our smite 5 sword. Think he can crit up? No, I guess he still takes two, and why? Look at that! Oh, where is it? Aha! Wither skeleton skull! Nice, I really like using these as, like, hats and whatnot, I mean, I can't change my skin right now uh, so that's kind of crazy and uh, if you don't know why I can't change my skin well look out for the video coming out tomorrow it's a whole complicated mess honestly but it's basically because I have such an old account that uh, I, I really can't do it so <laughs> that's a little sucky I can't make some videos because of that but it's all right I guess we'll just wear this thing back you know what I just realized? Bridging like this could actually be a good way to travel. I mean, if you have soul speed on your boots, and you just keep placing it, you actually go pretty quickly, and then you don't have to traverse all the, the terrain in the nether, and you make a path for later to get back home. So I think we might be seeing more of this. I mean, the only downside is you have to get a whole bunch of uh, soul sand, and I just ran out. <gasps> oh no, I was really thinking we'd have enough. Dang it. And there goes in the last piece. Nice. Now, I think we're going to add the slabs on the side. It's probably the best way to do it. And the stairs. I need to grab some stairs, but I wonder if there's a safe way to do this. I'm not sure. Maybe... Oh, yeah. Okay. This isn't too bad. And gas just disappear. <laughs> okay. I was about to shoot him. Uh, all right. Thanks. There we go. Got some stairs going. And let's just check some of this, because we have... Too much of that <laughs> and uh, one flaw with this design is we don't have anything underneath it so if gas shoot this like they like to do it'll blow up and there'll be a hole but that's why we have this feature now so we can walk along it and uh hopefully this doesn't get blown up i'm 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 sure it won't maybe the smart things to go how do we do this like one two three four five six seven yeah, okay, that's not a bad system. Let's just do that. Okay, I think I have a system, so we just go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, block, block, and then repeat. Yeah, that's a good way to keep track of it. And I just stopped counting. And I guess we can get rid of this too now, because we know how we're gonna make these connect. <laughs> Definitely not stairs. We want slabs. Where is it? Okay, and it should be this one. Yeah, there we go. And I'm actually really glad that I'm using this fencing, because normally, you don't use netherhack fences for anything. Like, you clear out um, your nether fortress to make a wither skeleton farm, right? But you actually end up not using any of these, so I'm really glad we found a this for it.
Oh no, where is he? Oh, okay, wait. Oh, it blows up these. I hate that too. Wait, can he see me through lava? Is that like a thing? Where'd he go? Okay, I think he disappeared too. Guys, I thought I lost my wither skeleton skull, but look at that guy. Oh my heck. He looks hilarious. <laughs> Dude, you know what? You can keep that. You look so cool. Alright, let's give this a little bit of a flick. Okay, he's up one higher. Nice. Put that there. There we go. Up again. How's he looking? <laughs> oh my heck, this guy is hilarious. Nice. Okay, should we add that maybe? Does that look kind of cool? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave him for now. Oh my heck. I love it. And it's time for the treat comment. So this one is by Dominic Hutchinson. Sorry, couldn't fit the end. And basically, he said that we should try to use our fortune pick more often. Now, I think this is a pretty good idea because we can get a lot of gold, lots of quartz for XP, um, which I did die, kind of sucky. Um, but it's alright, we got the piglin, and I'm getting off topic. Uh, yes, fortune pick. So we can get lots of stuff quickly that way, we can trade with it, get more explosives, blow up things, which makes everybody happy. So hopefully we can do that. And I just want to say, uh, it's kind of crazy. I've gotten like, like, I don't know, like six subscribers the past two days. I know that might sound like... Not a lot, but it is for me, so thanks for all the support, guys. I hope you like the series, and uh, if you are at the end of the video, because this is the end of the video, it probably means you like the video, which might mean you should subscribe. I'm not sure. You tell me, but uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.